Alright guys, just a little context for this video. Uh, basically downrange about 20 meters. I have a Usec who is popping in and out of a shadow against that rock right there. As you can see when he goes in the shadow, he's a little less visible. And basically we're going to go through all the preset settings. I'm not going to be... Because as you can see, I can change so many. So I'm just using the slider just for ease of use and replication. And uh, just to show you the difference right here with Ultra real quick from low. Uh, I do a better job, don't worry, but that there's a huge difference already that you can see. And going back to low, it is it looks terrible. Um, f I guess the best setting to see people is on low, just a spoiler alert for the whole video, but yeah, low settings are definitely the best, but the game looks terrible. Just going from low to medium, there is a huge difference. Um, you don't lose too much frames. You probably I go from 80 to 70 frames switching from low to medium. And the game still looks good while still being able to see people. Um, when you get up into these higher settings, the shadows get a lot darker. And you can't, as you can see, when he goes in the shadow there, I, I can't even really see him. You can, but you can at the same time. Whereas when we were on low, you can totally see him. I also messed around with the sharpness settings a lot. And I found that keeping the sharpness slider somewhere in the middle, or around 0.7, is probably the best. And uh, switching from high to ultra, I didn't notice a difference at all. Um, maybe a little difference in the gun detail, just for you guys wondering. That's not YouTube, it's, there's not that much of a difference with the sliders. And this is a custom setting. This is, I went through all the options and maxed everything out because the ultra slider doesn't max everything out. But as you can see, when he goes in the shadow, I couldn't even see him. Yeah, I really couldn't. I, I, I was like making sure he was in the frame, but yeah. I would say play on low if you want to be the most competitive, but I just can't do that. This game is so beautiful that I would say play to whatever your system can handle. Um, I don't think anyone can handle the custom setting that I put, but I would say play medium probably for most users. Um, I get a lot of comments saying, give NASA their computer back. So I guess I have a good computer compared to a lot of people, but... I'll show you my specs at the end. I have a list. Don't worry. But at, look at that difference from low to medium. You get textures like medium to high and ultra. There's not that much of a difference. There's a difference. Like as you can see, the gun has a lot more depth now. There's a depth of field added to the high and uh, ultra settings that the medium doesn't have. You can always add depth of field if you want to the medium settings. But adding all those extra things do take off performance um, depending on your system. But these are my personal settings, which I will show you after this clip. I find that these settings right here, they make for, I still get 60 frames with them too, but they make for good video recording. They still have dark shadows. The gun still has depth of field, and it just looks really good. Um, I don't have problems seeing people, and it feels like a fair setting to play on where I'm not playing on low to see people in grass. Here are my settings. Pause the video if you want, because, you know, there's a lot, as you can see, but... Those are my settings that I record all my videos with. Um, one thing that you could change from this is turning contact SSAO off. I noticed that hurts my frames by about 10, but I'm still able to play with it. And here's just some more, you know, comparisons of grass. I noticed grass is a big one. Like when you're on, I, I, I filmed one where there was a dead body in the grass. And when you're on low, you can see the body so much more, but the footage got corrupted. Don't ask. Here's some hallway footage. And not too much of a difference. It just seems to get darker as you go up the slider. Here I'm on the custom setting with everything maxed out. And in the dorms at least where there's little visibility or there's little lighting, less effects going on. There's not much of a difference, but your frames go down tremendously. Um, we went from about 80 to 42 now. <laughs> so, you know... Being at 40 frames a second in a close quarter scenario can be very, very difficult. Um, I would recommend messing around with these settings in offline mode. I'm in offline mode here. I do have scav spawned in though just to kind of replicate what it would be like in a real match. So there's not too much of a difference. I've actually noticed better frames on the actual servers. I, d I don't know why. But yeah, server performance can always be a factor in that. Anyways, I left in some gameplay here of just me walking around with maxed out settings just to show those who don't have the game or who whose computer just breaks when they put this setting all you know when they max it out their computer might just break so they've never seen it 
So I left you guys some footage. Also, a little tip here. Um, I didn't know this for a while, but as you can see, I'm controlling my stance. Um, whatever key you use to crouch, you hold that and hold mouse wheel, and you can adjust your stance, much like how you can do with the speed. I didn't know this for the longest time, and then my newbie friend who had like 50 hours in the game pointed out to me, and I, I felt really dumb, but I just thought I'd, thought I'd show you guys that one for anyone who did not know that. But yeah, the game just looks amazing on these settings. Um, I really wish I could play like this. Like just looking out that window, it's, it's just so beautiful. You've got the gun. It just looks so good. But I have 39 frames a second, which is unacceptable. I will say that the game looks amazing on these settings. The game is actually about to look even better. The devs have already announced that there's a new version of Unity that came out that upgrades all the textures, all the lighting. It'll probably take them around nine months to transfer over from what I've heard, but when that comes out, the game will look a lot much more like the dev blogs, I'm assuming, because if you guys have seen the dev blogs, man, they have the graphics, like, cranked up in that. Um, a lot of the dev blogs from a year ago, I'll link them in the description, um, they actually have more features a year ago than the game does now, which is kind of cool, actually, because it means that they could just throw this into the game whenever, I would assume. Um, lots of gun animations. There's actually, in the blogs, they have light switches in the dorms. Oh my god. Yeah, I decided to shoot a really loud M4 just to show you guys if I got a frame drop at all. And... Yeah, I didn't notice any frame drops, which is actually good. Um, that means the game is pretty optimized. I did some testing where I broke a bunch of windows. And if you know that in, like, Arma 3, when you start shooting, your frames tank. Um, so it's kind of glad... Kind of a good thing that Tarkov is rather optimized when it comes to shooting and breaking glass, which I know in some games can really tank. And I've wondered, like, because I always get in firefights, and I feel like my frames tank when I get in a firefight, which I think is just the server. Um, in offline mode, there's a lot less hiccups, and that was a perfect 360. I, I really wish that I would have saw the scav that's about to shoot me in a second, because I would have got a 360 on him. So this is just more... Max custom footage. I just want to play this out, talk over it, you know, show you guys what it's like to play. Uh, this game just looks so beautiful. Like, it really is a beautiful game. I love the art design of it. They go for a real, like, photorealistic look almost. There's no crazy battlefield blue tint or anything like that. And I'm kind of glad I left this in. Because look at how great the scavs are, guys. They work fantastically no problems here. I cannot wait for this new update, by the way. I really hope it just fixes a little bit of everything, because at the moment, everything needs a bit of fixing. Um, yeah, scavs are pretty bad at the moment. I, I don't really like them. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you did not like it. I don't, I don't know why you wouldn't like it. Anyways, and don't forget to subscribe. It really helps. We're almost at 2,000 subs, which is awesome. We were at like 80 a month ago, so, you know, thank you guys.